Well, welcome back, everybody. You know, when predicting the future, when it comes to weather, is not an easy thing to do. Some people look at the science of it all, while others look for signs from Mother Nature. That's kind of what I do. This year, we're taking both approaches when it comes to letting you know what could happen this winter here in the Wabash Valley. Tonight, Storm Team 10's David Wire takes the science path. Let's take a look. Winter is just a couple weeks away, but your winter forecast, it's here right now. I'll explain how I got these numbers in just a few seconds. In the meantime, let's get right to it. December of 2010. It looks like the first week, the first through the sixth, we're actually going to have warmer temperatures, warmer than average, upper 40s, near 50 degrees, with a few rain showers coming in for the weekend. The 7th through the 13th, it gets sharply colder, and we're going to find temperatures below average, a few flurries in there, and possibly our first winter mix of the season. Again, another weekend with some rain showers in it. Specifically on the 14th, it looks like it's going to get colder, and our first significant snowfall of the season looks to arrive with two to three inches of snow expected on or around the 14th. Continuing on to the second week of December, the 15th through the 21st, we've got a long warming trend with relatively dry conditions outside. Temperatures look to stay a little bit below average at the beginning of that week there, but as we get into the 18th, 19th, and 20th, temperatures will climb above average into the lower 50s and again staying dry. The 22nd through the 25th, We've got some snowfalls to talk about. Looks like on the 22nd, about an inch of snowfall expected. And then again on the 24th for Christmas Eve, a two-inch snowfall expected. Flurries left over for Christmas there on 25th, so a bit of a white Christmas with snow flurries expected. Warmer temperatures happen through the 26th through the 31st. And with those warmer temperatures, we are going to see up and down temperatures, a rain, sleet, and snow mixture as we get in to the first of next year. Let's talk about the winter forecast for January of 2011. Looks like we're going to start temperatures off. About average will be in the upper 20s coming into January. Temperatures lower 30s with another snowfall expected on the 2nd or the 3rd. And this one's going to be another significant snowfall somewhere on the order of about 3 to 5 inches. We get into that second week from the 8th all the way to the 17th. Average temperatures again staying dry. We'll get a couple snow flurries in there, but it really looks to be a quiet several day stretch there between the 8th and the 17th. We get into the 18th, 19th. 20th, we're going to find another snowfall trying to move in on the order of about one to two inches and temperatures staying below average there. But here's where we warm up for the second half of January, slightly warmer, another weekend with some rain, snow, and possibly some ice mixture. And then it gets colder for the last couple of days of January 2011th. And after a cold start, we'll see a few flurries there with another one inch weekend snowfall. Let's transition into February. The first five days are going to be warmer. And remember, we talked about the La Nina pattern giving us some wild temperature swings. Well, here we go. Warmer for the first five days. Another weekend mix. We go from the 6th through the 12th average temperature wise, but then it gets warmer with a quick one inch snowfall in there and then a quiet warm weekend. And that warm weekend is going to fall on the order of the 11th, 12th and 13th. Now, as we get into the 16th and 17th, we've got another one inch snow moving in there. We're going to have two winter storms during that week, and they're going to have some mixture precipitation within them, plus a one inch snow. Temperatures for the last two weeks are going to be mild, more wintry mix, and then it gets briefly cooler before we see a long warming trend that last week of February 2011. And it looks like we're going to jump into March with a very quiet and dry pattern for the last few days of February. In summary, this year's La Nina pattern looks to bring us a warmer winter than last year, but still colder than average with more precipitation than a normal year. Our average snowfall is around 18 inches, and while I think we'll stay just below that around 14 inches, well, we can expect more mixture events and more winter rainfall events due to the wild anticipated temperature swings. From Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Wire. All right, Dave, nice job. Well, tonight, Jessica Hayes continues our look toward winter with keeping you prepared as you hit the road. And tomorrow, Pamela Gardner searches for ways to help you save money. And then tomorrow night at 11, I'll look to the signs nature is giving us to see what might be in store. Don't forget, tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning, Indiana time, the entire storm team will host a live web chat right here on our website, WTHITV.com. We're taking your questions right now, and we'll have the answers for you tomorrow. You'll just need to go to our website, go to the weather page, fill out the weather question form.